I'm here early. Hi. Okay. Um, how's everybody going? Doing? Uh, happy Thursday. Odd time for me on Thursday, but hey, it's a weird week. Brent's doing a jury duty thing. I've got hospital stuff and work things. and Yeah, so I'll screw you up. But I got time to clean. Got time to lean. I got time to clean. Got time to clean. But um, we're working on the play field right now. It's what we've been working on for the last couple days. It's been uh, like this. This looks a lot worse than it is. It's just laying off to its side. I was uh, playing a little bit earlier. I'll see if I can do it here. Lighten everything up with my flashlight to see which lens was where. And it was just kind of a cool effect. So the blue ones. The yellow ones. Green ones. This will help if, uh, you know, Brent's going to change out the lights, which he is. We're going to do all LED on the inserts, or on all of it. But we're going to do color LEDs on the inserts. And general illumination will be warm white. But I found that was kind of fun. So, back where we left off is over here. We were cleaning the steppers. That's why they're all torn apart. All over the place. Um, I just got to get doing on the last one over here. I don't know if we can even see it. Wait, let me move the camera over to this side. It's hanging off the back. That guy. See if I can get it. And uh, I got about an hour. Hopefully I can finish cleaning that one and get all four steppers back up in that hour. Whew. Got to keep progress going. What was that? That was the computer telling me something. I don't know. We'll find out later. All right. Da -da -da. Uh, where were we at? Reset that again. So feel free if anybody is hanging out, feel free to chat, talk, uh, say hi, anything like that. Um, I'm just going to be here on this guy. But we're not done with the uh, all the other steppers yet. We're just doing the coils right now, and then we're going to do the rest of them, or the rest of the the rest of the stepper switches and cleaning the nubs. This is where we are. This guy right here. Oop. See, that's what I didn't want. That's okay. I saw where it went. Uh, screwed. Screw. Dropping screws. First thing you do is drop a screw. It's going to be a good day. Right. Just taking these apart. Cleaning that. Get that coil stop cleaned off. And we found that these small coils, it's not so easy to get the uh, coil sleeve out. So I'm going to just leave it in there because it doesn't look destroyed. And we're going to clean it. And these guys, on some have been easy to come out and some have not been. See, that one was easy. Why is it, why is it some of them they're easy and some of them they want to be a pain in the butt? I need to re-up my alcohol. I mean, I can't be doing uh, can't be doing any repairs without alcohol, and by alcohol I mean isopropyl alcohol. Ooh. Get us some of that ninety-one percent or ninety-one. Alcohol is our friend when it comes to cleaning. All right. And all of these steppers have been fairly clean on the mechanism, but all of the plungers have been dirty and greasy, as if they put grease on the inside of the plunger, which you don't need grease in there. You don't need any lubrication in there. So we're going to clean all that out. And otherwise, they're pretty good. And then the tips, obviously, the tips are going to be a little dirty. 
just the tips. But yeah, so there are, there's the camera over there. These are actually really good. They're not worn. They're not uh, rusty looking or anything. They're not chipped up. They just got that little bit of grease going on in the middle. So just set that over there for now. Grab a couple Q-tips. So we can clean the uh, Whatcha Medilly? Whatcha Medilly. Uh, anyway, how's everybody's Thursday? Our our restaurant, this is what I'm working at the restaurant normally, has been crazy busy. It's been really busy for a while, but this month it has started to pick up stupid crazy and then at weird times too. I mean, that's good for business, keeps me employed, but man, it makes for a tired day. It makes this part of me wanting to do this um, not as relaxing as it usually is. Oh yeah, and I was going to try to find music. Find music to have in the background for cleaning. The soft, soft, soothing sounds of cleaning pinball machines. There we go. Maybe I'll find it for tomorrow because I think I'll come down here tomorrow and work. It's my day off, but I'll still work. All right, that's that side. I'm gonna put this guy back in. Oh wait, no, I didn't clean the uh, actual mech thing. Clean this guy up here. Grease off of that. I like these little engraved W's on everything to let you know this is Williams, man. I also like that all of our, at least for right now, I don't want to jinx it, all of our uh, labels are all intact on all of the. Uh, steppers and switches so I know which one goes where when we finally actually break out with the schematics and go for actual repair once I get past this cleaning because like I said ooh, that's one of our trucks <laughs> I'm not there like I said this cleaning um, the blue lights are not going on when the rail goes up but that should be fixed with some of this cleaning here cleaning the switches because we know the steppers working all right, backwards. See, why can't they all go on that easily? Oh my gosh. It should be that easy for all of the freaking plungers. All right. Uh, oh, I didn't kill. I did not clean the coil stop yet. Coil stop. Dirty coil stop. Pretty dirty. Every little bit. Once we get all these bulbs replaced with LED, some of that heat's going to go down. It's not going to be so hot underneath. And there's some purists, I guess, that are all about, no, you got to have incandescence. That's what they were. That's, that's what it's real. But if you can achieve the same kind of light and not have the heat, why not? And that's what we're doing. We're trying to get the same kind of, well, the inserts we're trying to make better, obviously, but we're at least trying to get uh, the right feel, but not so hot. All right, now, set that there for a second. I did, oh yes, I did clean up the coils. Coil sleeve and screwdriver. Coil in there. Lift that up there. I try not to touch the coil or the the uh, plunger once I've uh, cleaned it, so I don't want any of that uh, grease to get on my or my finger grease, natural finger grease to get on the plunger because. 
No, it's there. cameraman that constantly keeps me in focus. Dad. Stay up. Stay up. There we go. I'm not going to tighten this one all the way yet. Just want to get it in the hole. Come on. You going or no? There it is. Feel I feel tension now. Oh, it's, it's super intense. Ow, that was my wrist. My wrist. Ooh. Police car. Police car. All right, now I can type them. And I'll check and make sure they're still working. Looks like the mech is working pretty good. Now we're just going to do the bottom one. Bottom cord. Gotta get clean. Let's see if I can bring this guy over here even more. That coil. Whew. Why wouldn't anybody want to spend their time taking apart a pinball machine? This is more fun than anything. There goes that screw. But luckily, we are on the rotisserie. This screw has a ground wire on it. All right, let's get the coil stop, coil out. There we go. Ow. Coil stop. And these ones, the coil sleeve has come out. There they go. So I can replace the coil sleeve of this guy. I think they got it so close. They are a tight fit though. And they're translucent. Ugh. Translucent coil sleeves. I get this whole like saving them all and then I throw them away at the end. I don't know why. Get your big bag of coil sleeves. Always clean the inside, even if it's new. Go. Sit there and then get this guy out. Ooh, again, super easy to get this plunger out. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. <laughs> Delivery trucks are here and I don't have to put it away. Yeah, buddy. Remember, they always look clean, but they are never clean. They are dirty. Dirty! Dirty on this camera! We got another week to wait to see if we get another chance to open again. 
Um, the other day was technically our anniversary for the arcade, but we've been closed for over a year. So, I guess we I guess we get to stay a year younger. All right, there's the plunger. Let me clean this over here. These are really close to the edge. I gotta be careful that I'm not pinching any wires in the mechanism. And like I said before, in the other streams, I would tear this completely down. Um, but these ones look really good, so I don't think we need to do that. They function really well, and they don't have buildup of garbage. Like a bunch of these steppers do. That is that, and that is that. So now we can put it back together. Plunger. so well. Let's go around. Go around and get on there. Ah. Oh wait, no, it was the right way. Dang it. I'm, I'm making it the wrong way. Dummy. Dummy. It is the right way. Ugh, stupid. Bring that off. Coils. Slide that guy back there. Stay in place. Clean the coil stop. It's also remembering all the little steps you gotta do. Get into a rhythm. Clean this. Clean that. Don't forget to clean this. Cleaning the bottoms, cleaning the bottoms, cleaning bottoms. There we go. There we go. Now the screws are sitting up here still. Get this one side in, and then we'll get the side with the. Uh, ground wire in. Sucks is that these screws are not magnetic. Alright, get out of my way. screws. Screw in here first. Put the screw in first. Screwing it in. There we go. And then I'll just do this. Hopefully. Watch it all fall out on me. Stay. 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 
Put that back in there. Hold the screw in place. Put the screw. It's just a little awkward positioning, but that's okay. We've done it before. We know how to do this. Am I not in right? No, do not drop the screw. Mm. All right, gravity. Be my friend. There we go. Whew. One side. One side. This side needs. Ground wire. We are moments away from getting to polish our nubs. For nubs, some may call them contacts. I call them nubs. Put that on. Tighten that. There we go. There we go, and there we go, cool. All right, now, functionality. It works. Now, whew, hopefully we're back to an easy part, just cleaning off contacts. That requires our little pieces of cardboard, cardboard pieces, and a little cup of alcohol. We've already done the first one. So I'm going to work my way backwards here. Start on the fourth one. And clean these contacts. Not a lot of pressure. You don't want to change the position. But you want to make sure that you're getting it cleaned off. Really clean contacts. You'll see that they have that nice bright brass look to them or copper look is there only one? Oh no there's one right here get in there clean that off these aren't too bad because these are under the play field and then we got contacts on this end the mechanism to close it if you have to if it's a really bad one you can kind of pinch them together with needle nose but you got to be careful not to change the alignment the positioning especially as we don't know what it does yet that's that one all right so now no we want to do all of them and then we'll go do the polishing that way we can get all of these done You're not too bad. I like squeaky noises. That sounds like it's uh, rubbing it really good, cleaning it. All right. This part's a lot easier. Clean the other side over here. Uno mas. All right, that's that one. Let's set up here for a second. Now we got this last one, and then we can go to polishing the nubs. Hot nub polishing action. Thrills, chills, polishing the nubs. Isopropyl. These are just uh, two switches on here. I was excited that I didn't have to do so many uh, screws. 
score reels because there are no score reels, but there's a fair amount of steppers going on in here still. What's that? Come on, buddy. One more. Yes. All right. Now we can move on to polishing the nubs. Bring the camera back over on this side. To polish the nubs. We just go here for now. There we go. Let's do that. These guys. All right, where is, there it is. Let's reset this one. So we are going to, don't have a lot of space. Got the mothers out. Try not to put so much on it this time. Just enough. Just enough to polish the nubs. Dang it. Ugh. Positioning. Come on, buddy. that excess off as much as you can it'll dry out you just want to get it on the uh, off the contacts this would be helpful I'll go for a lot higher Ooh, that does help maybe it would be helpful if I had a light Let's just add to the effect All this black soot off of here. I tried to take the one apart and it was a little sketchy, so I decided not to take these apart. I just want to clean them as they are. Get them shiny. All right, I'm gonna get this side down here. Oops, got some of that off. Yeah, they're clean. I'm just seeing them at a wrong angle. Some of them are still looking like they have black on them, but it's just a bad angle. This one, yeah, so you get a ton of black stuff comes off of there, even though if you can't quite see it, it's there. I'm get a little bit of alcohol, I'm going to do the other side of them, obviously, but I just want to clean these off a little better so I can see. They're looking pretty shiny. I'm 
Now I do that so I can get the other side. Ugh. Hey, I'm back here. Could just use the alcohol, but that's not going to actually polish them out. Just really want this polish. It's good stuff, man. Apparently, I like to put too much on there. What is going on with that? to have these clean anyway. A little bit. A little bit. Every time I think I get a little bit of polish, I think I get, I guess I get too much. all these cleaned up and we start examining again the functionality then we can go back through and get nitpicky about maybe this is not positioned right maybe that's positioned off just really trying to do when I'm cleaning it to not change anything because you can create more problems yes you can solve problems but you can also create more I need to get one that's just alcohol now Slightly. Oh, yes, keep that shiny. Shine them up like a new penny. See how they shine. Nice and clean now. Ching, 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 ching. Reset. All right, now this guy can just get out of the way for a minute. We'll move on to its third brother. All right, I might have to tilt these guys the other way. There's not a lot of space. Yeah, I have to go that way. This guy can swing back that way. Stay there. And this guy is where we're at. I mean, you can look at them from where you are and you can see that they kind of look clean. From where I'm at, it's obvious that they're not. Set the zero. You can see the blackness on the actual pads themselves. Stand up here so I can see better. Clean that off. Don't need to have the dirt on it now. Alright, like you can just see it on the towel, how dirty it is. I'm gonna need a little bit more polish on there. Come here, buddy. Just a little bit. A 
muchos better. Definitely better. Definitely better. Let's get the other side. This does go a lot faster than uh, cleaning the coils. Get all the nubs. All the nubs. How many nubs? All the nubs. That black is not good. like it. Let's get a little bit of alcohol on a towel. Not that one. That one's too dirty. One last call for the alcohol. There we go. Look at those guys. Look at them. It's as if they want to be shiny. All right, other half. Let's get you up to par like your big brothers. Less about this, more about that. Come here, you. Polish, polish. This is not my permanent stand for this pinball rotisserie. We don't have one yet. But this does work pretty good. Be able to get all the way around it. I don't have a lot of room in my shop, but yeah, I see you doing that. Release that. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That's got a nice good glow on the monitor. Looks like new pennies. Shiny new pennies. Shine it up like a penny. Do you want to know where my pennies? Shine it up, shine it up, shine it up. Why does it cost so much to get uh, pinball machines worked on? Uh, I don't know. Gee, seems like it'd be nice and cheap and easy. You just pull a switch and everything's clean. But again, that's a, one of the beautiful things about electromechanical is that they can clean themselves if you keep playing them. It is possible. Nice. All right, let's clean it off with some alcohol. Clean it off with alcohol. Drink it up, drink it up. Nice reset. Like everything's going. I'm not so much worried about these little bits in here. Um, yes, they can dry out and they can fall uh, onto something on the bottom, but I don't think these are really filled up. These are these will be okay. 
they're cleaned up enough. Oh, that is the right way. You can just get in there with a toothpick if you want to get all those little bits out. All right. Last one. be able to see it. It's back here. This guy. Oh. You get a Judah polish. Get the last one on here. Then we can screw them all back down. And at least call them done for this part anyway. Until I have to uh, adjust things. The one thing I'm not going to do yet is cleaning the pop bumpers under here because uh, we still got to paint parts on the play field. And that's a Brent thing. And I don't know when he's going to get to it. And I don't want to take them apart and leave them apart waiting on him. So I'm just going to make sure I clean what's under here even though it's still working. They all work. Just clean the little bits off. And I'm not going to tear them down until we actually paint the play field. And then I'll put uh, protectors. Pop bumper protectors. All sorts of stuff. To do it right now. I could keep going and go at warp speed on this, but we do. It's just intended for me and Brent to do together. And he's just got a lot on his plate right now, so I kind of have to slow down where I can. And as long as the pop bumpers are working, I can keep doing my job. Ooh, all right. Let's finish that other side. Getting it done, shining them up. Who needs nubs when this is enough? Here, I've got enough on my thing. I can just do this. really don't like having all of these apart at the same time, but it's just for the fact that I have to get around there and have to take them all apart. It looks so chaotic with them just laying there. All right. How much alcohol do I have? Do I need more? I think I need more. I bought so much isopropyl alcohol. Go off. Put that back down so I don't spill it everywhere. There we go. Reset. Go over here. Nice and shiny. Okay. Now I think we can uh, set all this stuff back up. All these guys just sitting there. Made it. Oh, let me close up my polish. My mother's. All right. Work our way backwards, I guess. A little bit extra alcohol there, but that's okay. Reset. 
screwdriver. Screwdriver's over here. I wonder how fast I can do all this stuff. Like if this was my job, like if this is the way I get paid, how fast could I do it and still like be confident that the quality is good? And how many pinball machines would I have to get done to actually make a living? I think I need a taller screwdriver. It's a little bit lower than I want. Let me go get a different screwdriver that's taller. There we go. That's better. Don't tighten it all the way down yet. Gets me some mother on the side. Or I can just throw the screws on it. That'll get them to work right. Just throw the screws. Land in the hole without me doing anything. I must say that um, underneath here, upside down like this, does look really cool. I keep thinking some sort of futuristic steampunky thing. When I see it, and I like it. I want art. I'm, I'm thinking about bringing my professional camera down here and, and taking some uh, shots of this upside down and making some art. Since I am kind of a photographer too, might as well use that skill. Do some pinball art. back in remember like I said if you're if the holes in the play field it doesn't feel like it's gripping the screw put some uh, toothpicks down the hole and then you'll get uh, your grip back because you don't want these to fall off Obvi. Did I just say Obvi? I think I did. Alright, that's that one. This guy. So I bought this for 500 bucks. And I, so far we've bought the uh, pinball, the flipper kit. And then we're going to put the lights in there. And then I, I don't know how much time I put into these things, but I, I, when it's all said and done, I think this is still going to be probably about $900 total into it, maybe, I would think, including labor. I don't know. I know it's just, it gets to the point where it's not worth it financially. That's why we're doing it for the love of the game. Expensive. It's also a good reason why you should know how to do simple repairs on your own machine. So you don't have to uh, call out. Let's see if I can get from this angle. Oh, not what I wanted at all. I like, um, uh, again, Barbie hands would be perfect right now. Or a magnetic freaking screw to go with my magnetic tip screwdrivers. What'd you do? Come on, buddy. I don't want to sit here and do this all day. Get in the hole. Thank you. There we go. Oh, my goodness. Screw that one down. All these ones have been pretty tight so they're not stripped out which is awesome haven't had to do the toothpick thing yet don't pinch your wires yeah 
I think I'll bring my good camera down and take some pictures and then get some art shots printed off. underworkings of a pinball machine or at least an electromechanical one somebody had posted an ad for a pinball which how they word the ad always makes I like it because they don't know anything about what they're talking about which means usually it's an easy fix but they said they had a 1971 analog pinball machine which I uh, obviously meant electromechanical and it said it just needed a power what did it say? Power white, power work done, electrical work or something. Usually, you can get those kind of things for fairly cheap. And if you can't get them working, that's really a fairly cheap. You got tons of parts, which I'm hoping soon we're gonna have tons of pinball parts. Stripping a bunch of old pinball machines, the ones that at least the ones we d deem that can't be saved. I think I'm knowledgeable enough to know which ones can and can't be saved. Well, they can all be saved with the right amount of money, yes. But are they worth it? The stepper, it's been off for days. Alright. There we go. And I might go over these a little bit again with some alcohol to clean off any more residue that I may have missed for right now it's good after this I'm gonna work my way down the play field we're gonna these are the pop bumpers these three and I'll clean the switches right now but we're not taking them apart because we want to wait and then work our way down we got some targets we got some rollover switches and all of them worked, but they still can use a little alcohol to make sure that there is no buildup. And then we got this huge relay bank to do. And I don't know what's working in there and what's not. But that is, I say huge, this is about a third the size of the one on OXO. That one was actually huge. And it was on the play field, which made the play field weigh a ton. I know. Oh, it's those right behind me. It can hear me. It knows what I'm saying. There we go. That one's in. That one's in. There we go. But this is a, I just artistically, I think that's a really cool shot. I like the I like seeing these steppers and all this down here. I'm just gonna get a camera and take it. You know, obviously black and white. It'll look really cool in black and white. Get some pinball artwork that I can do. Mm -hmm. All right, so while I got a couple more minutes, I'm just going to do a quick another rub of alcohol. Just a little bit. Clean up the cup anyway. Just another slightly rubbing. One last call for alcohol. These are the steppers that, you know, that I guess you're, you know, blasting off into space. So these are the steppers that work your way up the play field, the lights, and your scoring for that. I did not wipe off that side first. Can't really get much in there anymore. Oh, it's weird when it's all set up like this. It's hard to get into. Maybe that's why I took it apart. There we go. All right, I'm happy with that. Reset, 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 reset. They sound good. They look good. They don't have that build up sound because you know they get a lot of, a lot of them you can I don't know you can hear it but the sound is just very crisp very clean very good and that is just the part here that we didn't take apart which 
again, I'm super impressed with how clean this part is. Um, if it was super dirty, I would have taken it all apart, cleaned it off, and then a little bit of the dry lube just on the pivot points where the metal touches metal. But these ones are super good. They sound really good. And what I, the other thing that's really cool on here, I can't do it now. It's not on here. It's on back there. The freaking score motor is super quiet and nice. I like it. Listen to those. Sound really good. Good sounds. Good contacts. All right. Well, so tomorrow, I've got plenty of time tomorrow, hopefully. I say that, but that's when I usually get called into work because, you know, my job is right next door. They can always screw me over and call me in. But tomorrow, I think we'll work our way back down the play field and uh, we'll get as far as we can go. I think maybe we can even do the flippers. Just completely rebuild the flippers. I know the one flipper is sitting a little low because it's got a gouge mark on it. And you can even tell here. I can tell without even looking at it. So here we got the flipper over here. So look where this is. Position of this one compared to the position of that one. This one is our, is down a little bit more than this one. Or up anyway. You flip it over. That side's up and down. But anyway, they're not as positioned. But we want it the main thing doesn't quite matter that these are different than each other. Main thing is we don't want it rubbing on the play field and create, because once we paint it, we don't want to, you know, we don't want it to scratch up again. And I don't want to put mylar in a lot of places, but I'll have to put mylar where we did our paint work. But yeah, looks cool. I like it. I like the way it looks. Much different machine. Uh, we still have to get the ball trough. Uh, we did these uh, drop things. Where is it? I got it. There it is. <laughs> these ball drops we clean these rings really good I gotta clean these discs when we get down there but these are cool and unique little drops um, that go into the ball trough underneath the center ball trough and bring the ball back down and of course we have this uh, mirrored ball uh, guide that tells you how many balls have been played and it's got a light on it too which we might put a brighter flex or something to get it to light up better uh, yeah a lot of cool unique fe features for a 1961 machine that we'll get to work on but for now that's my hour and I got my steppers done so yay we'll work on other stuff tomorrow for a little bit a little bit of time maybe I'll have all day maybe I don't I don't know it's my day off I'll come in when I want but thank you guys, whoever was hanging out. If anybody got to see any cool stuff, anybody wants to chat with me, um, I'm on Pinside under Pum Ribby. I'm at Arcade Dungeon on Facebook. I'm around. I'm just doing this for fun. Me and my good buddy, Mr. Cambot. Getting these games working. It's important to keep them alive. Younger generations, it's going to be on you after all of us. Because I'm going to get all old soon. Oh. And I'll be like, I remember back in the day. Anyway, I gotta go. I ran out my time. There's my hour. See you guys on the next stream tomorrow. Maybe I'll find some music to play in the background so it's not so quiet. But I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.